Next question from Andrew. Um, how do you recommend storing your equipment in the off season? Dry, climate controlled. Now, if you're, you know, if you're going to leave a system for four or five months or whatever, um, you certainly should, at the very least, pull your main parachute out. You kind of shake it around and you know, and then repack it after you've gotten a little a little loft back to it. Um, but you can always just do that ahead of time, you know, going into the, the winter season or if you're going to get deployed or something, you're not going to be jumping. Um, then you can put your parachute into a plastic bag separate, right? So we try to separate the metal components from the, uh, uh, from the, the fabric components in theory. Um, but the way I look at that one, because that's kind of a traditional story of, of to, to pull the parachutes out and put them in bags, don't use black plastic bags ever. I learned this lesson secondhand from my friends in Norway. Um, I believe it was Optal, where they made a, they had to make a rule because yes, somebody stored parachutes in black plastic garbage bags, and spring cleaning came. You guessed it. They threw out some parachute equipment. So clear bags is smart, <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> but here's the other thing is, if you store your parachute in bags, it's not inside the protection of the container. And so cats can pee on them, happened to me once, right? Dogs can scratch them, you know? I mean, I had a parachute, yeah, I could show you it's right here. <laughs> my freaking puppy, my dog, chewed off my hacky sack. Chewed it right off the pilot chute, and that was a packed rig. So, I mean, what would she have done if she had access to the whole thing? I don't know. Um, I should have put it in a closet. At that point, I was, you know, I just pulled it down and I was talking online, live online training thing, and I'm showing somebody this or that, and I put it down, I forgot all about it afterwards. And sure enough, she chewed the hacky sack right off. So separate your skydiving components from your animal components as much as you can. If there's a chance that it's going to flood in your basement, don't put it in the basement. If it's going to get really, really hot, don't put it there, right? Heat will, will destroy your rubber bands, right? But always after a long break, you know, if that parachute's been sitting in there, pull the, pull the main out and let it, you know, spread out. And obviously, if your reserve's been sitting in there for five or six months, it's compressed. It's a brick and it's not going to open as quickly. That's what riggers are for. That's why you should become a rigger, right? So you don't have second thoughts about this stuff. And you go, eh, you know, I'm just going to pull that reserve out and repack it. Why not? You know, if you don't feel good about it. I just got a parachute back in the mail that uh, obviously hasn't been jumped in a while. And I want to use this as an example of why uh, you need to repack your parachute in the springtime. <laughs> if you haven't jumped in a while, this is not in a bag, right? And it's a brick. You can even see, look at this, where the, where the rubber bands came across here. And they're still, it's hard as a rock. I don't know how long this was packed. It was a while. Um, but you can bet that this parachute is not going to open normally. <laughs> it might not even open at all, right? So um, all I can say is, if you haven't packed in a long time, this is what you're doing. Look, I mean, it's a brick. I have to pry it apart, <laughs> right? So, you know, if, if safety is your goal, then laziness is your enemy pull it out and put in a bin, right? So that the parachute is actually out. And if you got metal components, you separate the metal components from the nylon components, ideally, ideally. Um, and, you know, just leave it open and free. So what do you choose? Love or fear?